Hey there, doll face. Hey. Interest you in a preem BD? Uh, I don't know what that is. Preem dogs? What's preem? Uh, sure. What do you got? What don't we got? Women and men of your dreams. Synaptic acting A-listers, no washed up virtue porn boy toys or blow up dolls here. Oh, tur stuff. It'll grip your heart and blow your nerves right out of your body. Pure bit-based ecstasy. That's why people come here. Clearly right. know how to sell it. Not a sales pitch, it's a warning. I'll give you one word. Bespoke. Not for everyone's synapses. Think you can handle it? Uh... Fuck yeah, okay. Spoke. Damn, that sounds promising. I get it, I'm in. Mm-hmm. Couple of things you need to know first. <clears throat> Severe penalties for any unauthorized recording. No drugs, no groping. Oh, yeah. Someone catch your eye? You do not grab them. You find them in the catalog, ask for a BD, and get yourself a box. I really look that green to you. Like I don't know. Mm-hmm. Doors open. Have fun, doll. Welcome to Lizzie's. Welcome to Lizzie's. Lizzie's. Okay, I'm not allowed to touch. I have to grab a box. What'll it be? I don't know, lady. I'm scared. My, what a sweet little face you have. Thank you. You're kind of cool, too. All right, no recording, so I don't think I can scan anybody here. This is interesting. Get you something. Uh, Lizzie's still that kid? <laughs> so, curious. The name Lizzie's. That the owner? Not for a long while, no. And it's none too sweet a story. Oh, now I'm just flat interested. The real Lizzie ran a strip joint out of his place back in the day. Lizzie's bar. Girls were paid right, insured had decent security. Good spot, all in all. Okay. Let me guess. It didn't last. No. Tiger Claws took care of that. Tiger Claws? Tiger beat one of Lizzie's girls real bad once. No hesitation. Lizzie blasted the guy's balls off. God damn. The gang came back the next day. Liz was done. Tigers gave this place up to the Mox in the end, though, didn't they? Sort of. The Moxes had to make a deal with them. Luckily, they kept their heads organized quick. Big boss now is Susie Q. But the sign stayed up, out of respect. Biz booms to this day. Okay, I'm looking, looking for, for Evelyn. Evelyn Parker. Know if she's here? Who's asking? Um. What does that mean? What's you gonna that say mean? something? A big tipper. Generous when I get the answers I'm looking for. Appreciate the gesture, truly. But afraid I don't get paid to talk. Opposite, actually. It's all right, Mateo. I was waiting for this one. Oh, hi, lady. You're fancy. Hi. Evelyn Parker. I knew it was you as soon as you walked in. Oh, tequila! Sorry, I get distracted easily, lady. Bear with me. Sense on. Only tequila I drink. <laughs> How would you know? She's scared. I like to know everything about the people I work with. Either that or it was just a lucky guess. Uh, why we meet here? I don't know what this is. Why we meet in here? Any particular reason? 
Actually, it doesn't seem much like your thing, this place. Mm hmm. Hmm. I'll take that as a compliment. Come on. No place we can talk where ears won't prick up to listen. All right. We'll be in the lounge, Mateo. If anyone asks, we're not here. Yeah, we're not here. So, what can a horny girl like me do for a hungry guy like you? A little vanilla and sprinkles? Or can you wax? Maybe electrosex? Zappies? Power implants? Hmm? V? Sorry, I was listening into the spicy conversation. <laughs> I was just like, he's dropping in like, oh, are we going in here? Yeah. I'm waiting. Naked chick on a table. She's a hard brown. Dex had a load to say about you. Called you professional, effective, and trustworthy. I hope he wasn't overselling. Probably just a bit. Um. Uh, should we go with one of the best? I'm sorry, lady. I'm scared to choose the wrong choice, and I don't know what this P symbol or this recycle symbol means. Um. Maybe we just be honest with her, like, hey. No idea if Dex exaggerates. A little, a lot. You got me. Just started working with him, in fact. I've heard there are two kinds of fixers. Those with stable crews on long contracts and short leashes. Loyalty and predictability they value above all else. Then there's the other kind. Dex's. Okay, the other kind, let's have a... Come on, can't leave that hanging. Headhunters. They lay their trust elsewhere, not in people, but in a thing. Their intuition. They bet on potential. And if they lose that bet, it's the last mistake they ever make. I'm hoping Dex's intuition has served him well in this case. Okay. Let's cut to the chase. What do you got for me? Your target. I trust you know what it is. Relic. Secure your soul trinket. Key tech in the program, actually. We're tangling with Arasaka. Making this heist one dangerous, risky motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Arasaka's poured billions into personality transfer technology. But me, I just want the data on this one. The chip is tucked away inside Compeki Plaza, the hotel. You ever been? Not really. Um, no. Classy corp hotels? Mm. Yeah, no. Out of my price range. Hmm. Well, the decor's to die for. As you'll see for yourself. So where's this chip hiding, exactly? In a suite on the top floor. The room's occupied by Yorinobu Arasaka. Oh. Yorinobu Arasaka? He's in town? Don't you read the scream sheets? The media couldn't get enough of Yori coming to Night City. It was all over the headlines. Anyway, he's heir apparent to the Arasaka Empire. Saburo Arasaka's only surviving son. What, so Arasaka Jr.'s planning to grab the reins while in Night City? Only a handful of people in Night City know what the Arasaka's real plans are. Telling me you're one of them? Oh, um... Let's see what okay, you've what got any got. spare aces up your sleeve. Now's the time to show them. Now this should make your tits perk up. Oh, okay. Yori Nobu recently swiped the chip from an Arasaka laboratory. He's made a deal with Netwatch, aims to sell it to them. Have you spotted my ace yet, or do I need to spell things out? Okay. Neutral Netwatch is mixed up in this? Netwatch provides net security for all corporations and collects eddies in the millions for it. But in this day and age, everyone's in the game and no one can afford to be a saint. To win, one has to go all in. Okay. 
So what's your Nobu do to walk away with? Unimportant. You focus on the biochip. What could cyberspace's watchers and protectors offer him? Intelligence on his enemies? That doesn't matter in the least. Because you'll make sure the transaction never happens, and I get the chip. All right. Fine. So no Arasaka security on the device, because your Nobu whisked it away in secret. Now where's he hiding it? Well, likely in a specialized container. One that mimics an organic neural environment. On the outside, it looks like an ordinary briefcase. And the case is? You'll see for yourself soon enough. Provided we're done gossiping about the Arasakas. Um, I would like to know more information, lady. Oh, okay. One more thing. Data that's on the chip. What is it? Irrelevant, entirely. We're talking about data Yorinobu snuck out of Arasaka. What's more, he wants to pass it on to Netwatch. Sounds pretty damn relevant to me. Listen, V. The relic. That's my concern. Your concern? Earning a paycheck. Just get the job done. I'll make sure your bank accounts are sated. Okay, I'm just getting information, lady, and then I'm staring at the virtual lady on the table at the same time. What else do you know about Yorinobu? Quite a bit, actually. He studied finance and biotech in Tokyo. <laughs> Probably didn't have a choice in the matter, come to think of it. Saburo was grooming him to be his successor. But then Yorinobu vanished to chase his own dreams. Cut himself off from the corp for years. Long story short, though the black sheep returned, the bitter taste remained. But that's only one side of him. There's another. An intelligent man who has always walked his own path. And so has his own designs on the corp. Okay, maybe he's just got a taste of power? Could be another power-hungry corpo dick, like so many others. <laughs> Ever tried to imagine what life might be like for an emperor's son? You have everything, yet you are no one. Nothing. At least as long as you remain in Saburo Arasaka's shadow. I... sympathize. It's a vulnerability I understand well. Oh. And one you plan to exploit fully. Okay, we are still love questions. Alright, good job, virtual boob lady on okay. the counter. You What's did next? Great. Now comes the best part. Follow me. Got something for you. Should help you plan. Brain dance from Compeki Plaza. How's right. a brain dance supposed to help? Need facts, not thrills. I think BDs are only good for fondling virtual tits, jacking off to in those boxes. No, it can be a very useful tool. Good for analyzing details, human perception, even boosted, doesn't grasp exactly what you need. So what's on the tape? Yorinobu's suite, the glorious interior. You'll need to locate the relic yourself. Hope I grabbed enough detail to make that possible. All right. What, what are we doing? Are you going to buy me a dance, lady? I'm a bit confused. Of course! You can count on me, babe. Would you mm -hmm. like anything else? No, no, don't say anything. Relax. I'm very confused. Oh, hello. I don't know what's happening, but... We're going places. You mean to see you recorded this? Mm hmm. BD rec implant. Why? You object? Uh. It's supposed to be Yorinobu's pad on the tape. Means you were inside. You, uh, know each other? How else could I get all this intel? I know him pretty well, actually. Oh, okay. We have an arrangement. Strictly business. Suits us both, I think. Let's see this brain dance. Judy will help. She's a mox too. Besides, we go back uh, years. Why am I having a brain dance? Why do I need a brain dance for? I don't understand. V, this is important. All right. Judy's always been there for me. Always helped out. I trust her. Okay. But she's a mox, not the latest member of your crew. Try not to forget. So you'll be a good girl tread lightly 
and keep that tongue on a leash. Relax. Believe it or not, I'm no stranger to tact. In biz or life. Okay, so these are like law bits, I do believe, so we'll try to find these and read them. Okay, the Mox. It's one of those stories that's either simple or very complicated depending on who you ask. For Janice it was a mix of both. The Mox came to exist because it had to. We didn't have a soul in our corner, no one to make sure street justice was on our side. So we took matters into our own hands. The Mox is comprised of people who, if any of them disappear from the streets tomorrow, you might never even notice. Sex workers, um, enemies, artists, aimless rebels, the rest of souls who aren't dealt a fair hand in life. Today the Mox is thriving and demonstrated by the booming biz at Lizzie's, Lizzie's Bar. Lizzie is renowned for being the arg arguably the best brilliant best brain dance club in night city corporate suits games pop stars and locals alike gather at lizzie's to kick back have a drink and dip into the most beautifully scrolled out tuned bds you've ever experienced most customers however are oblivious to the fact that the club is gang owned and operated and that the mocks are in charge watching after their own just like lizzie at the legend once did Okay. All right. You know the story. Lizzie used to work here back when it was just a simple dive with a stripper pole. She took care of the girls and made sure Eddies were falling into their pockets and teeth were not falling to the curb. Like this one time, this fucker, okay, was having too much fun with one of the girls and Lizzie couldn't stomach it anymore. Story is that she just deprived the worm of his little tiger balls so quick and nasty it took them two days to clean up all the blood and puke splatter. Jesus Christ. Of course, the claws found out so fast they flatlined her flash. Everyone, but everyone said that she impacted in some way, was still around. They came together and fought back. Well, you already know the rest. Awesome. Alright, so that was the story. I don't. Why we're having the brain dance? Where's the lady going? Hi. So I've got to be well behaved, she said. Okay. Well behaved. <coughs> Hi. Hey, there you are. This is V. She's here for that BD role. And V, this is Judy. Best brain dance editor I know. Enough already. Okay, lady, I'm not sure what brain dance is, but, um, hey. Hey, Judy. Compiled your media. What do you think? Will it do? Still pretty raw, but yeah, ought to do. Mm-hmm. V needs to get deep inside. That's most important. So, let's calibrate. Tune it to her. Oh. Believe me, I've dealt with worse. You should see the jig jig street porn we gotta contend with sometimes. So, we drop V inside? Let her look, let her rummage around, right? How about it, V? Raw brain dance. Ever taken a dip before? No, um, no, I really haven't done this. Look, I'm no BD virgin, but the raw stuff? Uncharted territory. Relax, I'll explain everything less complicated than it sounds. Sit down, settle in, and we'll get you going. Okay, I'm a little bit scared, ladies. I'm a little bit scared, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know what this is or what we're doing, but I'm doing it. All right. Okay, more lying on operating tables. Makes me very uncomfortable. Let's right, get some headgear. Gotta create your sensory profile first. Okay. Okay, hit me. Just promise me it won't hurt. It won't. Not this time. Now sit still, look at me. 
gonna run the analysis soft. Should feel a slight tingle. Mm-hmm. Look, okay, now let's set the optics and other sensory sigs. Look smack into these two screens. Pretend it's an eye exam. All right. Am I gonna have to do this calibration dance every time? Not necessarily, but it's worth the wait. Give me two more minutes and you'll see exactly what BD analysis is capable of. One more sec. Need to get the pain receptor limiters in. Pain? Okay. All set. You All need right. to test your profile first. Tossing in a sample BD. You can use it to get to know the editor. Now let me see. Where could we... I'm scared. Can't you just use my recording? Why are we wasting time? So we don't risk our necks? Besides, won't take a sec. Got something here. Should be perfect. Um... What'd you choose? Corner store hold up in Haywood. Real amateurs. Don't even know where I got it. Suits our needs perfectly, though. You ready? Okay. Boot it up. Mm-hmm. Let me give you the tailored version first. Let you get your bearings. Jump into editing mode. All right, thank we'll be you. diving in and plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out, and we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. And remember, everything on full blast. They'll spot us extra for a wicked adrenaline high. Hey. Okay, on you go. Shotgun. Down, everybody, on the ground. Wanna see you kissing the flooring? Muddy, now, or I will fucking drop you, I swear to God. Whoa, yeah, hey, uh, uh, now, before I blow your fucking head off. It's kind of cool. Looking at the time at the top, I don't know what that's in relation to. Ah! Slow, deep breaths. Your cortisol and adrenaline spiked, but the soft activated your hormone blockers. Nothing happened. You're alive and well. Um, okay. But that was a little bit scary. Too much. Felt it. could feel the guy's pain. His, his stress. His, Hope. Hope wrapped up in something else. Mm-hmm. Probably took a booster just before. You'll be fine. Got everything set up? Let's switch over to editing mode. Editing mode. All right, I can do that. I'll sever the link to the BD Roller's sensory array. You'll be able to look around freely. Full scene yours. Full cam control in analysis mode, so move around, zoom in and out, whatever else you come up with. Think of it as your own little sandbox. So, analysis mode, you control playback. Can even pause when you feel the need. Then you use the editor console to unpause. Try it. Okay, so I can zoom out. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. Dream as hell, right? Well, that's not all. You can speed things up or rewind, whatever you like. Oh. Give it a try. Rewind. Roll it back to the top. Alright. All good. Neat. Now try fast forwarding a bit. Alright, fast forward. Plan simple. Do nothing. Hold. Odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch it. Saying hold. Cat. Yeah. Get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Okay. 
You can also reset the recording. That'll take you right back to the beginning. Try it. Okay. Now for some fun. This here's why you came in the first place. In analysis mode, you get to view and even scan details of the enviro recorded by the BD roller. Focus on the heat. The gun this gonk gets from his buddy at the beginning. Now scan it. Right, so I need to play the recording until you spot the gun, okay? Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. And remember, everything on full blast. They'll spot us extra for a wicked adrenaline high. Okay, on you go. Okay, right here. Both sections of the track indicate a scannable clue. The clue will be highlighted for the duration of the sequence if the edge is set in the correct layer. Clues may overlap each other and spot when they overlap the recording track will be especially bright. Okay. Excellent. Let's move on. Now heads up. In analysis mode, you can ferret out background noise and conversations if the roller got close enough. This tech records everything, every little detail, even the sights and sounds the roller was never aware of. To see the sources of the recorded sensory signals, switch to the audio layer in the editor. Jeez. Go ahead and try that now. Okay. Okay, good. Now you should see several sound signatures in the store. Choose one and hone in on it. On you go. Ah, little shitheads. Go restock. I'll take the register. How about you suck a bag of dicks, eh? So, any thoughts? Unbelievable. Seriously, like it was happening right next to me. Yeah, it's how BD recording implants work. They pick up everything, all the elements in the background. Then an editor tweaks them, makes them pop. Keep playing with the sound, explore it a bit. We'll move on when you get bored. Okay, um, I was just wanting to check this out a bit. So we got sound there. Go restock. I'll take the, the register. How about you suck a bag of dicks, okay? okay? We have a deal today on two flavors. Cody and yeah. Serpent. Everybody! Oh. Scan the visual layer. Okay, switch layer. Sometimes you can analyze extra layers in the raw. Stuff the rollers cyberware picked up. Like what? Ev's got Kiroshi optics that grab infrared, meaning you should be able to grab heat signatures from her recording. Huh. Hella nice. Now let's wait till the guy punches out the gonk at the counter. Okay. On the ground! Wanna see you get in the flooring? Money! Scanning works on peeps, too. Walk up to the wounded chick. Try scanning her. All right, next thing. Scroll forward to the part where our artist gets a lead injection. Okay. Now! Or I will fucking drop you, I swear to God! Whoop! Now! Come on, boy, put it out! See that? They shot him and he never saw it coming. But you will. Here it comes. My favorite part of the game. See the blinking thing over the entrance? Surveillance cam. Must have caught our shooter. You'll see in a sec. Cam feeds to the screen behind the clerk. Roll back to where the screen's in the kid's field of vision, then scan it. Okay. Until the CCTV screen appears. Okay. Chumba shot him. Probably planned to all along. Must have got a nice slice of cred on the black market for a BD like this. BD freaks are ready to pay a preem for a real flatline. Anyway, if you've seen enough, you can exit. 
This is crazy. Like we can like replay back moments and like edit them and stuff. Like when she's like, oh, you can edit this and edit that. I was like, oh god, I should be good at this. That's like the limits of the reality recorded by the BD roller. The editor won't let you outside it. Makes sense. All right. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. All right. Okay. <laughs> That's really nifty. Yeah, it's impressive, right? It's too bad most of the BDs we do here are only good for flogging the log. Anyway, you ready to do this? Look at your wreck? I don't know. I... Ugh, let's take a break. Still feel like that kid when... <sighs> yeah, I think I'm done. V, there's no time. Get it together, please. Okay. All right, nice lady. Okay. <sighs> Go ahead. Just need T-Buck to link in. Whoa, 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 who? A runner for my crew, security specialist. She'll tell me what to look for while we analyze. No problem, I hope. Actually, it is a problem. Oh. Not what we agreed, Ev. Uh. Judy, T-Buck's a professional, discreet to a fault. You can trust her. Why, cause you say so? Yeah, cause I say so. Please, Judy. I'd never expose you to any danger. You know that. Okay, V. Call T-Bug and we'll dive in. Hey, V. What's happening? Bug, listen. I got some useful footage from Konpeki Plaza. It's a brain dance. Konpeki? Oh, thought as much. Someone there with you? Uh, yeah, Judy and Evelyn. Judy and Evelyn. They're chill. They're helping me work through this BD. Uh-huh. All right. You gonna tell me what this is about? Listen. Need your help. Got no clue what to look for once I'm in. All right, see if I can walk you through it. Jacking into your tech now. Mm, you've got to give me access. Opening port 1779. Secure protocol? Good, I'm going in. Should be getting my request now all right got it you ready a millisec okay connection confirmed now some quick temp ice and we're clear ready to dance <laughs> 